Hi, in this demo movie we are going to show you how you can easily find a suitable LED cooler if you are making a downlight by using a Philips Fortimo DLM. As an example here, we are going to use the latest generation, the Generation 5 DLM and we are going to try to make something with a little bit of lumen. We are going to aim for the 5000 lumen version. When we look up the datasheet of the Fortimo DLM 5000 on the Philips website, then we see that this module has an electrical power of 50 watts. We're going to use the 4000 Kelvin version. There is an efficiency of about 30% of this LED module. That means that 70% goes to heat. So we have to dissipate 35 watts of heat away. I estimate for this downlight design because it's in the ceiling that the ambient temperature is around 40 degrees Celsius and I want to keep my TC, my measurement point, below 70 degrees. So I have a gap between these two temperatures of 30 degrees Celsius available for my cooling. If I now divide my 30 degrees by the dissipate power, 35 degrees, then I know my thermal resistance 0.86 degrees Celsius per watt. Careful from this value, you still have to deduct the thermal resistance of the interface material. And if you use a good interface material, that's about 0.1. So we are looking here for an LED cooler where the thermal resistance of the cooler is below or equal to 0.76 degrees Celsius per watt. We now go to our website www.led-heatsink.com and we go to the section of Philips. On the top right side we first select our LED module, so that was the 40 mole LED DLM 5000. And then we fill out our calculated value of the thermal resistance, 0.76 degrees Celsius per watt, and we click on Go. We see that we get one result over here, namely the Modulet Mega 134-100. So this is a passive cooler with a diameter of 134 mm and a height of 100. If you would go deeper onto the data sheet, you would find a lot of useful information with regards to the mountain, with regards to the thermal behavior of this Modulet Mega heatsink. If you need further information, of course, you're always welcome to contact us.